I know what you're thinking. A chilling, calming, soothing the soul kind of atmosphere. Breath taking scenery. And me? Oh yeah. I can only mean one thing. It's wannabe camping bitches! So what's up guys? Welcome back to Wannabe Camping. And it's camp number eight. It's good to see you. Thanks for joining me. Look at that stunning view for an intro. Look at that. Woo! So for camp eight, I thought I'd bring you guys to the very first spot that I ever started camping out here with my brothers back in 2020. We came to this spot quite a few times. I can't even remember how many times we came so much because we enjoyed it before we moved on. So I thought I'd bring you to it just to show you, get a bit of nostalgia going for me. So for camp number eight, something that's been a damn long time coming, just me and the missus. <laughs> All right. Can you guess where this spot is? No? Allow me. We have to venture all the way. But yeah, she's, uh, she's chilling right now in the spot. Soaking up the camping vibes. She's been dying for this for ages, so she is extremely happy that we are, and me, that we are finally doing it. But yeah, to see us in all our glory arriving at this beautiful spot, because it's about half seven now, and I think we arrived about half five, so yeah, we must go, or you must go, back in time. To when we arrived. We just got to the spot it's like half five just been uh, cooling off and <laughs> as we've arrived I've noticed all this wood has fallen and laid itself for our burn tonight 
So we've just spent a little bit of time getting this redone, because this, this was already here, and uh, getting these rocks in place to create some kind of wall. Got a little pile to start with. But uh, yeah, we're just going to get some chairs out now, maybe a cup of tea in a minute. I don't know if we'll set up just quite yet. But uh, it's peaceful and it's good. Right, it has just gone six. We've had a little bit of food, took in the scenery for a bit, and uh, I think it's time to set up the old tent. Right, as I said, we've been here before. So, uh, I don't know if you can tell from the video, probably not, but the whole area around here is pretty slanted. It slants all the way to the entrance, but here, just a few foot in front of the fireplace. There's a nice bit of level ground. So we always put the tent there.
you a hug? Sorry, it's funny, Josh. Hey, what did you want to? Ah, oh, shit, yeah. Keep that side going. Do the peg sticking up. Not because we've only done it once and then... Our little home for the night is complete, but not just quite, not quite just because, be inside, and this time, we brought the blow up bed, and it's a foot pump, and the noise, something like that, when you pump it, so yeah, about 20 minutes of that now, fun! I know, I know. I need an electric air pump. So, not entirely sure what happened with this part of the clip. Uh, the audio was terrible on it, so I had to get rid of it altogether. But it's okay, I'll narrate for you. Just showing you my awesome little camping table that I got off Amazon. Comes in two halves that you put together and you just snap the two legs on. It's a little bit fiddly, but you know, you do it a few times and then it's easy. And uh, then, Bob is literally your uncle. Not lots of coal here, babe, to like make use of. Need a new fire.
I don't know if we should maybe move our stuff up there. A little rear of it. Or... Hey, will you help me? Don't, will you help me transfer Beautiful. Look how fucking Eskimo that. Oh, God. Have I missed the smoke in the eye? No, because it needs a gap. Come here. Yeah, I bent down because I saw it blow the other way, and as so I started talking, what is it? It be eight o'clock. So for the first time this afternoon and evening, music time. Birds, they say, Welcome to the camp, Ick! Don't they, babe? Don't they? Well, it's just gone nine o'clock. We've just been chilling by the fire with some music and some hot drinks and some good old chin wagon. <laughs> and, uh, Laid up a bit because it's a bit nippy, but once you're near this fire, ah, oh, smoke in the eye. Once you're near this fire, it's all good. Apart from the smoke, belly starting to rumble. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> and uh, gonna start getting some food going then. He's got a simple pot noodle. I'm gonna have some vegetable curry with chicken rice. Simple. Fuck filling. Never had it before. We'll see what it's like. Back soon. Yeah. Here we go. I'll just leave there in a minute. Really. See what I mean? It's got darker again, babe. Thanks. Well, I don't know if you can see me. Hopefully, you can. But we've been chilling a while. We eat. We eat. We've eaten. We've been chilling a while. Enjoying the fire, but the dark has crept right in. And now it's time to build up the log pile again. Done a little bit over there, but I'm just gonna have a quick scout in this blackness to see what I can see. Well, right, hopefully you'll be able to see me moseying about, because <coughs> I can't see anything on that screen at the moment.
can't see anything, but it's not open. Yeah, I know. I think there's someone camping over there. No. That's the one, yeah. Fucking looks like it, doesn't it? But why? <sighs> so it's uh, it's just coming up to half ten now. I was just using my GoPro a minute ago, pointing it into the darkness, and then I had my headlamp on as you just saw. I was trying to catch me in the dark, like picking up logs. And then, as I looked up towards the blackness, sorry, it's a fucking moth here going mental because of our light. Yeah, as I was looking into the blackness, um, I swear I saw a fucking flicker of a head torch. So I turned my torch off straight away and I just stared. And then I could see like clear lights in the distance. I was like, no, the fucking people or camping over there or explorers. And I just stared for a minute and I was like, Wondering if it was if I'm just gonna see the lights of their camp, but it looked like it was fucking getting closer, so I'm like, holy shit. So I backed all the way over the rear. Strangers in the dark coming to get us. It was a bit tense. But yeah, we just uh, just thought, oh, fuck it, play it cool, sit here and wait as they got closer and closer and then all of a sudden it was like Err. You're like, Err. I just suddenly went, Are you camping over there? Are you? He's like, Yeah, we're camping over here. Just thought we'd come and say hello. I was like, oh yeah, it's beautiful over there. And he's like, yeah, it is. Blah -de blah, but yeah. Never saw their face, just the light and a voice, but nice people. Fellow. Wanna be campers. Got the fire roaring now. Made a little lantern. It's all going on. Can't even tell it's chilly when you're sat here. It's toasty. Keep getting a flicker in the darkness of their camp every so often. Ah. You might think it's comforting having people just over there, but it's always a bit weird. It's a first for me. This is the third year of going out and camping now for me, and it's, I've never had that happen. We've had people walk through the camp in the morning, say hello, you know, or as we're packing up, ask if it was a good camp. I don't think, no, not one time, somebody just appeared in the, from the blackness, like, hello. You can tell the bloody summer's coming. The boogs are back. But slugs and everything start appearing. Keys carried on with my disrupted wood collecting task. But it's a. Uh... Oh fuck, is there more lights down there? What the fuck is going on? I'm seeing more lights down there now. Keys right there. There's lights down there in the trees. I suppose it's following the road, maybe it's joggers. Fucking people, man, like, I don't get it, like, we've seen it before, I meant to say, in the in the middle of the night. Middle of the night, like, you know, it was black like this. And right in the distance, there was like eight headlamps. And it's just like, we were trying to guess, like, what the fuck, you know? Midnight fucking stroll? Dunno. That was the same thing, like, I guess people like to come here and jog in the dark with a light. Fuck that. But yeah, what I was getting at is the fact that they're over there now. I know they're over there. It's just like, oh, I like being alone. It's the point of camping, isn't it? Why the fuck did we have to pick a spot spitting distance away from other campers? Got a good haul? That is
is roaring now. Look at this. <laughs> Nature's TV. I wonder what that fire is like. God. Camping, man. Feels like. And it feels like a lion heart. Right, it's coming up to half eleven now. It's about oh, 25 past or something. Been sitting here a while with music. The fire's dying down. Keys are starting to slowly move stuff in. There's a conservatory bit in that. And then uh, once this dies a little bit more, so we'll chill for a little bit more and then uh, we'll move inside Yo tent. Still keep seeing a little light every so often from over there, but I think they've gone dark now. Probably settling in too. I swear I can hear noises from up there. Then. Yeah, I swear I heard people up there. Like go exploring and that. What a lovely evening. Wonderful, wonderful camp. This is the last vid for the night. It's about half twelve now. It's always half past the hour when I record for some reason. Yeah, we had a really good afternoon and evening. Just chilling out. Time to go sleep. And as always, I'll see you in the morrow. He's already up. It's like quarter to seven or something. Comfortable sleep. A warm sleep. But a disturbed sleep. I think the sound of knowing someone else was over there is just. My mind is whirring. And I think I fucking. I think I fell asleep. No, she's a neither pig. And then, woke up in the middle of the night. He's telling me she needs to go and I need to go. So, we're out in the middle of the night, go in and then... He just for me to fall asleep again. Oh, man. But... Uh, you know. All in all. That think straight. That's right, you guessed it. More issues with the microphone. <laughs> Bloody thing. You'll have to forgive me. It's my first time using it and 
on this camp. I promise I will get better with it. I didn't do much testing. But anyway, in this clip is about half past eight. We've been waking up with tea and coffee in the morning sunshine. And I've just recently finished packing away all the stuff inside the tent. And now all that's left is the tent itself. Well guys, it's just about nine o'clock, I just finished in time, even though I had a bit more extra faff in with the tent. But yeah, that concludes camp number eight. Man, what a camp. It's gorgeous, long time coming. Me and the missus finally did our own. But now it's time to leave and bid you far be well. And I'll see you guys on camp number nine next time. Moving on.